Vic just excited. Vic said we gotta go put some new shoes on G and G. Before the season gets started, which means the cover is coming off early. And we wanna get all our maintenance done way ahead of time. We wanna make sure that the truck hooks up properly and we'll have plenty of time to make any adjustments. So, cover's coming off so G&G can go get some new shoes put on her. Y'all stay tuned. Getting ready, we getting ready, hey, we getting ready. Where you going? Don't leave me. back here to look at the rack. Lights is ready to go. Good morning, everybody. What's up, Warrior Nation? Hey, guys. Y'all see we still in coats, right? Yes. And we done took the cover off of G&G, &G, right? <laughs> and we hooked up. But... We ain't going camping. <laughs> no. What, what's going on, Vic? What's, what you got going on today? G&G &G is going to get some new shoes. That's right, y'all. <laughs> Goodyear Endurance. Yes. We. How many years did we go on these tires? Three. Three years? Yep. Um, Three years. Baby in them. Yep, so now's the time before we get started in this camping season. We trying to get all our ducks in a row early. Um, so yes, it is definitely cold here in Ohio. Matter of fact, I think I just saw like 20 something degrees, but just the other day it was 70. So this weather here is a little crazy. Um, but we taking G&G &G out, going to get these tires, um, get some supplies that we need to get over again but we are definitely gearing up for the camping season it's cold out here y'all we getting ready to take off so let's go <laughs> we wanted to see how high um, or should I say how low the back end would be with the newer truck and guys it is so close when we come out the driveway that I think Vic is gonna have to get a different stinger um, so I'm gonna show you guys that right here guys look how close that is coming up the driveway look at that <laughs> Here. And 
going to see where we need to be. And the place is right beside my favorite food. <laughs> ah, but they are definitely not open at this time of morning, but if it was later, I'd be over there getting me a pizza, guys. Got me out here at 20 to get degree temperatures. It's cold. <laughs> I said it's 25 degrees according to this uh, thermostat in here, mm -hmm. and it feels like it. And the sun is out, but sun ain't doing us no justice this morning. It's supposed to warm up to about 42 above. That's still cold. Mm -hmm. So you want to tell the fam about? The couple of differences we're gonna have with this truck. Let me turn this heat down. Okay. Well, we already noticed that the, tr the trailer sits up, the front sits up a little bit higher. Mm hmm So, but I mean, it's, it's enough for us to get out of our driveway. Our driveway slopes mm -hmm. and it slopes down a little bit like this, but then when it gets out to the street, it's mm -hmm. sort of like that. Yeah. So we have to be careful at the back end. The closest thing that gets to the ground is our stabilizer, mm -hmm. which is about maybe about that much clearance. Right. So we have to be careful there. Yeah. Um, put on the bike rack yesterday. So which we probably gonna have to adjust. Well, we have to see once we put the bikes on them. Yeah. That's that's gonna be key too. Yeah. yeah. But <clears throat> with these tires. The tire pressure will go up. Mm-hmm. So it and, might raise it up a little bit, you think? Yeah, it probably will. Yep. So we'll have to look when we get back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um our speed limit will go up, but I'm not I'm not speeding. No. Your speed limit. Y'all hear that? Yeah, the first thing he speed, said the speed limit. Speed speed limit, limit goes up, but I'm not, the speed know, limit go up. It don't uh, go up by itself. No. It goes up by the, you pressing the, the tire, gas. <laughs> the tire allowable speed limit will go up. Oh my goodness. Like with these right now, the originals, the max speed is 70 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And I'll do 70, but I won't go any faster than that. Mm. Yeah. And I still won't. I don't need to go any faster than 70. Yeah. Right. And a lot of people say that that's fast. It is, but you know, I'm a professional driver. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Okay, so we um we rode on they call what do they call the tires? They call them China bombs. <laughs> <laughs> we rode on those from the from the time we got our RV in. What did we get? Twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty. We got it in 2020, um, and we saw all the horror stories of the China bombs. Mm -hmm. So, of course, that was a little nerve-wracking, um, but because the tires look brand new, and um, they they did good, though. Like, we didn't have 
thankfully we didn't have no issues with the tires uh, but we knew we had put some miles on those tires would you say we have been to georgia <laughs> where, where have we uh, georgia was the furthest georgia furthest. being the furthest trip mm -hmm. um and then we did um carolina pines mm -hmm. we done indian at indianapolis mm -hmm. um yep. that would have been um indiana missinawa lake campground mm -hmm. very nice campground missinawa wow. lake campground right and we're going to look into that because we don't we don't have that book this year at least not yet we may end up getting that one book but um we definitely got our use out of these tires so we figured this year we get some <clears throat> tires mm -hmm. and vic jumped the gun i didn't think he was gonna go this soon because it's cold out here mm -hmm. but he sent a text he said we getting tires this week i'm like what <laughs> But I ain't gonna fight him on that because I know we've been rolling on them tires. So thankfully, we have didn't have any issues. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to start our camping season as safe as we can. Mm -hmm. um, anything you got? Any? We got. He did put the bike rack on, but now we're gonna have to bring a bike out, put it on the rack, and see how that yeah. how that looks. Yeah. Or see how sturdy that is, according to the box. It'll hold up to two hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. And how much? How each bike is uh, seventy. Each bike. Yeah, each bike is seventy. But we're gonna take the um, the battery out because the battery itself weighs mm -hmm. maybe five ten pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you want to take off as much weight as possible. You don't want to put that much weight on that bumper, mm. even though now you got those brackets. Mm -hmm. They they support what do the those br do? the brackets uh, in you know, in one of our videos with products that we installed on G and G the bracket actually adds more weight support to the bumper mm -hmm. so with these two brackets I have up to four hundred pounds of weight that I can put on the bumper mm -hmm. we're we're not going to be anywhere close to that but it's nice to know that that bumper is supported. <clears throat> so, go and look at our video, show you how to put it on. You'll need a, a drill, a uh, couple of wrenches. It's, it's easy. Right. Well, we also got some of our shirts in, mm -hmm. guys. I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. So stay tuned to the end of the video. We got a few different colors. Um, so if you look, at the uh, uh, go ahead and click on the store after you watch the video the shirts will be in the store so make sure you click on the store link on the our channel mm -hmm. so and I must say they came out really really nice um, we we like that logo um, we went with a um, I want to say adventure creator I'll put the correct name down below. And she did an awesome job. We worked back and forth for her to create this logo um, and some of our wants that we wanted in the, in the logo. So it came out really, really good. And we are definitely pleased with that logo. So you will be seeing that. Oh, you know what? We got um, let me find. We got some business cards, y'all. <laughs> We got some business cards. Hold on. I got one right here. I gave out two the other day. So we've been giving out business cards. So when y'all see us out here in these RV streets, make sure you ask us for a business card. Right there. There you go. So we, you will see these logos a little bit of everywhere. Um, if you see us out at the campground, make sure you stop by and say, hey, um, we're trying to get our um, our magnets and our stickers as well before the season starts. So we're making our way. So you'll definitely see the Real Weekend Warriors moving around these campgrounds. So it looks like he has one tire off. He probably went inside. He probably said it's no, cold he's out here. He's got to go in there and put it on the machine. I'll just tease. <laughs> yeah, I'm just but it teasing. is cold out here. 
Yeah, it's definitely cold. And like you said, they get paid for this. So. Right. And I'm glad I followed you because we could sit right here. Well, I really followed you because I was in the front of the driveway and I didn't want to mm. park on the street. And then when I got back, I was going to have to move anyway. So I was like, I might as well follow you over here. Mm -hmm. Plus, I wanted to see how G and G be rolling down the street because I'm always in the truck. So I never really see her rolling them. I'm going to say them because <laughs> G and G is them. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway Vic said the ladies right mm -hmm. so I'm going to have to switch and say them mm -hmm. both of them <laughs> so anyway um, we got anything else going on our first trip coming up April the Six. April the 6th and we're going to I can't keep up with this stuff East Harbor East Harbor yep. Vic you know where we going East Harbor Okay, East Harbor. near Lake Erie all right, yeah, that's where we're going April the 6th. So if um, anybody is in the East Harbor area, let us know. Mm -hmm. In yeah. April, hopefully the weather been the May this transition. We don't know sometime in Ohio, it gets a little tricky. Mm -hmm. So we will we'll have to play it by ear with the with the pan pink panties. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Let's see what he wants. Yes, sir. I was just wondering if there was a certain PSI you normally run in the tires. What is What are those uh, rated for? Uh, let me, let me take a look. <laughs> Not them, oh, them no, tires no, no, or the no, new, the new ones. ones? Yeah, the new ones. Well, that's what you want in them is the new, is mm -hmm. it what, what they're rated for. Well, it says for max load uh, to 80 PSI. 80 PSI. <clears throat> Let's do 75. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, they were asking, well, what he... He was asking, what, what tire pressure do we normally run at? On, <clears throat> for instance, the old tires, the max uh, PSI is 65. Now, <clears throat> I'm getting, I get different... Um, different things from different people about uh, the tire pressure that the the tire manufacturing company they allow for pressure build up so let's say if uh, you put it at 65 and you got a tire pressure monitoring monitoring system <clears throat> and it goes up to 70 maybe 72 and it all depends on what the weather is the temperature outside so what I do is I will start off at 60 because I know when we're going down the highway the tire pressure is going to build up and normally they build right up to 65 now a lot of people will say you should run you should put your tire pressures at 65 because that's what's on the tire but I've been doing this for three years and I've never had any problems so everybody is different mm -hmm. so these new tires they are rated at 80 PSI max. I'm having them do it at 75 to allow for the air pressure to build up. And it will. So when it builds up, it's going to build up to 80. And I, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, you should, you should do. This is my preference. Like I said, I have had no problems whatsoever out of the tires. And you also have to remember the location you are in, the outside temperature plays a big deal with your tires. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, I think we're going to be rolling smooth. Um, it definitely gives you a, a, a safer peace of mind, I, I'd say. Mm -hmm. out of these tires because every time we look at a video somebody talking about a china bomb so i'm like oh <clears> throat> we throat> have these china bombs <laughs> yep that's why i was babying them yep. yeah yeah now the tires we're getting are goodyear endurance mm -hmm. and these are supposed to be like the top of the line rv tires so right. you have to invest money mm -hmm. for safety yeah you know, yeah you pay for what you get that's you know yeah, yeah. 
And you know, before we, we got these tires, we, we had our eye on another RV. But we said, we just gonna be patient. Cause mm -hmm. it's really like G and G um, really checks off all our boxes except one. Except one box. Now you know two oh two. Two for Vic. <laughs> and mm -hmm. none for me, but and the two is is for him, not for me. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with just what we have. <laughs> um so but they're not deal breakers where he wanna just run out and switch the G the R V. Right. So we we actually love uh, G and G. Now the two issues. Can you see the difference? I see the difference. I'm a matter of fact, the two issues before we I get out and see the two issues that Vic has is the bedroom. He wants a king size bed in there, and we only have a queen. Mm -hmm. And he wants more storage underneath the RV. Mm -hmm. So those are things we can live with mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. until. Something comes along that we just gotta have. We got the truck. Uh, yep. So and we, now we, we switch trucks because um, now baby blue, baby blue. did us <laughs> did us right. But I will say when we were traveling in mountains, mm -hmm. you know, I actually had to get a run going up the the, the hill, mm -hmm. and by the time we got to the top of the hill, my foot was to the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so. At least with this truck, we don't have to worry about that. Right. Yeah. So that's um that's a plus. I'm gonna get out. We're gonna actually get out and look at the difference between the two tires mm -hmm. because he has one on. Yeah, he's putting one on now. And, and then you can, the old one is on. So yeah. so come on guys, let's you get can out. Tell the difference. is in our Amazon store. I'll put the link in the description. Tire monitoring system. You, look, you looking good, G and G. Ladies, y'all got some new shoes. It is freezing. Vic getting his tire monitoring system together. I said, I'm going to sit in the car. It's nice and toasty in here. Um, then I'm going to think I'm going to go grab us some breakfast and we're heading back home. But we are definitely getting an early start on um, the camping season. And we are excited. We have, we have quite a few trips booked. Um, and we'll probably put them out soon and hopefully we can run into some of you guys. We not putting together no big meetups or nothing like that, but we are attending some. So 
we're excited about that so we can get to hang out with a lot of you guys um get out on the campground get on our bikes uh this is a step this right here um takes us a little closer to camping season even though it's cold right now this is definitely has my my wheels turning up here i'm ready to go we ready to hit the road and um yeah, we just checking off our boxes this year. This this year, we knew we were going to have to do some upgrading and some changes. Um, and so that's what we're doing. We're checking off our boxes and only doing what's necessary. Because if it's not necessary and it don't make sense, we're not doing it. So, um, and then also, guys, I'm going to put some links in the description. We're going to put link to the... Um, tire monitoring system we're going to put links to our uh, t-shirts and links to the amazon store all the links in the description so be sure to check out the links maybe something you want and also support your warriors we um, have been in this thing since 2020 and we would appreciate any support that you guys give us so uh oh he getting cold Watch this. You cold? <laughs> are you so, cold, I man? To make sure that the right Let us see. plugs are in the right place. Mm -hmm. So I got them two correct. Mm -hmm. These two are beeping because uh, I had these on the wrong tires. Okay. <clears throat> so right now, because I took them off, Mm -hmm. It's indicating that uh, the tires blew out. Mm, right, no, no right. Because they didn't took the took them off. Because yes. you took those off. Yes. Okay. All right. So guys, that tire monitoring system is in the Amazon store. We will put a direct link. And if you are looking for a tire monitoring system, mm -hmm. click the link in the description. Two down, overheat. All right, they look good. Yeah. What you think? They look good. Well. Vic, you made it back. How does it how does it feel to, for the first pull with the truck? Oh, fun. The back end is a different story. You got to get used to it. <laughs> the turn of radius is off yes. a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so you a professional driver, right? Yeah. So it shouldn't be no problem, right? I'll figure it out. <laughs> Hit nothing. That's right. That's, that's the most important thing. And the tires look good. So we one step closer to getting our season started. So guys, we're gonna wrap up this video. If you are not subscribed to the Real Weekend Warriors, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. Become a Warrior Nation member. That's right. Become free of charge. Become part of Warrior Nation. Um, so anyway, um, I think you have anything last minute things you want to tell the fan? Nope. Looking forward to getting out camping. It is warming up a little bit out here, but yeah. and the sun is coming out. Yeah. So, all right, guys, we will catch you all in the next video until next time. I'm Vic and I'm Corinne and we, we are, are the real, real weekend, weekend warriors. warriors. Peace guys. We're out.